So for today we have backups, right? Backups, okay. backups. That's right. So one thing that I would like you to do before we start doing the backups is just to give up a short introduction about backups, right? Because we have different, let's say, strategies of backups when it comes to not only database but but also so right. we can do what they call logical backups. Some people they even say it's not a backup, well, that's debatable, and it's. Better to have something to not have anything. Right? So the logical backups are the, the dumps, the traditional dumps. It's, it's very common. It's very common in, in, in MySQL tools or even in mobile tools. Also. And also common in Postgres. A lot of people, they, they do backups using the, the, the dumps. So it's one strategy. Uh, but that's only for smaller databases, right? Yeah, the it, bigger the database, the more problematic that is. It is. It is. It's, it's true. It's because true. A, a dump is basically just dumping all the SQL commands to recreate the database. Yes, it is. Uh, well, you, you can dump the, the structure to create the whole structure, and then you can dump the data. It doesn't, you don't really need to dump the, the insert. You can dump the, the, the full data as one full insert, so it's it's less problematic. But yeah, as you said, it's more for small database and doesn't solve all the problems. So no, it's still, it's right. still that, right? So, but this is one strategy, and there's nothing wrong to use that the strategy that works for your business. So everything should should be decided on your business. And remember, backup is really important for business continuity. So this is why you should have backup. Yeah, should we should we back a little bit to 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 talk about business and think why why it's important to have backups or well I, I think that everyone realizes that it's important to have backups. Yeah, but why? Because yeah, but why, why you need that? You are walking in circle. <laughs> Oh, you no, said I'm not it's walking in a circle. You, you said that in a it circle. said it's important to have backup because no, you need them, and you need them because it's important. You, you need them because when something bad happens, you might need to go back. It's disaster recovery. I mean, like everybody knows disaster recovery, okay. right? So okay. you okay. drop a database, you drop a table, somebody deploys some new code that does something wrong, you get hacked, a, a system crashes, your drive crashes. How do you recover? How do you restore your business to where it was before? But let's say you do your backup at midnight. Like every day at midnight, you have a backup. Yes. Uh, what happens if you drop your database at 10 p.m.? Well, then obviously your backup has to go all the way back. That's why point in time recovery is so important. Okay, and that's why we're talking about the strategies now. So if we do a dump on Postgres, on Postgres, if you do a dump, you're not able to do a, a point in time recovery. And that's why it's important to, to have the right strategy. And that's why it's important to understand why you need backups. If you didn't, if we, we not talk about, okay, what happens if we drop the database at 10 p.m. and the backups are doing at, are done at midnight every night. So you won't realize that you, you need a point in time recovery. Right? And, those are uh, important points, important things that we, we need to understand, we need to rea realize before we, we go further. And back to the strategies. Yeah, dump is still a strategy. It's better to have something. It's better to lose data from midnight to 10 than to lose all the data they have. Right? It's, it's less worse. Let's not say better. It's less worse. It's less evil to lose something than lose everything. Right? Yes, I mean, like, worst case scenario is you have to go back to something that's 12 hours old, 24 hours old, versus nothing. Uh, you're going to go back 24 hours. Exactly. So, although okay. it can still be the death of a business if you're dealing with financial transactions or something else. It can. It can. Yeah. That's, again, why you need to understand your business as well. So, what the strategy you need. So, okay, this is the map. Let's move on. Now, we, we have another strategy, another tool 
that we can use that it comes with all sorts. Uh, we can use a tool named, named PG Base Backup to backup the database, to copy the database. That's going to be a physical copy. It's physical copy. copy. That's a physical copy. Uh, well, before we go that, we can do a physical copy to the database without doing anything. The Postgres has a comment that we, we can use that, if I remember correctly, it's backup start or PG start backup something. It's a comment on the, you can run on post, we can use PS route for that. So what it does, it, it creates an entry on the Postgres logs, right? The wall files on the logs, the wall logs. So to tell, look, we're going to flush everything up to this point. And we have this mark here, this entry on the logs. And up to this point, the database is consistent. So then we mark. And when it's done, you can physically copy. You can use CP, RC, whatever bash command or Windows command, depends on the OS you're using, to do a physical copy from the database to another place. So we can do that physical backup. And when the physical copy is done, we just tell to the Postgres there is, a, there is the start backup, there is the end backup. So you tell the data, look, I'm done with the copy, so just create another mark. And it creates another mark, and your backup is, is consistent in time. So up to that point when you created the, the, the first start, so your backup is consistent. Mm -hmm. So that's a physical backup, right? Uh, but you need to be careful because you need to, to tell the database to start the backup, we need to copy things, and then we need, when it's done, we need to, to tell the database that you, you finish the backup so you can put the, another mark on, on the log files to run things. So we have a question actually. Yes. So uh, XYZA uh -huh. wants to know with RPO of 15 minutes, uh, how can you restore a single database using a PG uh, based backup? Uh, you cannot restore a single database. It's a physical backup. So if you want, if you really want the data from a single database, you need to, to restore the whole backup. The thing is, uh, the physical backup is immediately restored. Right? You don't, it's not like dump because you have the data files. We have everything. So when you, unless you need to do a point in time recover, that's the next thing we're going to talk about. Unless you need to do a point in time recover, when you do a physical backup, you have the database. It's just the time for you to do a system CTL post busy start. And you read. So remember, we, we have that, that mark, right? So. Suppose we take five minutes to cut all the data. Mm -hmm. During those five minutes, post is working, your application is, is working, we're inserting, deleting things. So the, the data will be, it will continue to work. When we will finish the copy and we spin up the database, the database needs to roll back everything that's extra up to that point when we create the command. Right? But for, for an RPO of 15 minutes, wouldn't an HA strategy maybe be a better, like... Would. Usually, yes. Uh, but the, the problem is, let's say... Let's say you drop at a database. Yeah, then, yeah. It wouldn't work. So if you, if you have an AJ, let's say you have a primary and two replicas, you, you drop a database that drop will be replicated to replicas. So then that would not work. If the problem is, okay, the database, the primary crashed, and it's a lot easier and faster to just promote one of the replicas as a new primary and recover a new instance and have the backup and everything. Yeah, that's faster and more resilient. But backup is, the backup uh, is a strategy for a different type of disaster. Right. Yeah. Because garbage in, garbage out. So even if it's not a table got dropped or uh, an object, it could be data, somebody actually updated data. Exactly. It yeah. could be something like that. Exactly. Now, I'm curious, um, from an from a HA perspective or from a recovery perspective, the concept of delayed slaves is very popular. Delayed mm -hmm. replicas, excuse me, delayed, delayed replicas is very popular in MySQL. Uh, is that something that's an option in Postgres? Yeah, it can be done. You can, you can okay. also have the delayed the, the replica in Postgres. Okay. Uh, but and then it comes again. What is the delay that you need to have in your replica? 
because if you if you don't have a person keeping constantly eyes on on what happens to the data, or if we have let's say we have a delay replica of one hour, yeah. and it took you two hours to realize that something went went wrong, you didn't solve a problem, it, right? You're always pushing the limit, right? So well, no, the, it's, the, it's the, like do you, you, you do it if you do it 15 minutes and you crash at 30. If you do it, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's yeah, a band-aid. It's yeah, a band-aid. yeah, it's a band-aid. And the thing is, we, we need to make sure that people understand it's a band-aid because I, I've seen a lot of implementation using delay replicas to yeah. replace backups. Yeah. And it's not no, a replacement. Yeah. Right. And that's always a problem because there are two separate use cases and it's very hard choose which one is the right and, and a lot of people would go like oh yeah i know it's it and it's 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 good the more you have for resilience it's good right yeah. and, and i think that depending on the size and the, the, the demographic of the system it's really going to change your your approach because if you've got a system that is you know 10 gigs it's mm-hmm. very different than a terabyte in terms well, of like what your options definitely are. Um, and when you talk about like a, a an RPO time or something that's really tight, there are things you could do with smaller databases. You just can't do bigger ones, right? That's true. You could back that's up true. every hour. You you know, like you could have it, you know, standing by, yeah. ready to go. You know, and you just roll through the last you know hours worth of transactions or something for a point in time recovery. I mean, there's there's options that you could do that only make sense with. The, the setup of your yeah. system, and that's why a good strategy should always uh, uh, come to mind. And when you have a good strategy for disaster recovery, backup is just one of the pieces. Yes, yes, right, absolutely. So when we're, we're thinking of a high availability, you need to have the option to promote one one follower. We need to have the option to recover a backup because we have many different types of. Uh, of, of problems. A disaster is a disaster. So maybe you have three database nodes in on AWS region and the whole region goes down. Right. It's probably, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It happened in the past, last year. So it's not something that you can say, well, it never happened because it did. Yeah. Right? So, and if you do not have any strategy for, for those kind of problems, then you run out of business. Indeed. Thank you.